And can you tell me what, a little bit about what it was like growing up as a young man in Damascus during the 20s and 30s? Yes, it was sort of um, disheartening uh, because you, it was segregated and they were set bent on being separate and you could not go into the stores. You couldn't go in there, but you had to go in the side doors. You couldn't go to the theaters. You couldn't go to the restaurant. You couldn't go to the bowling alley. You just couldn't do anything. So it was really rough. Uh, um, it was, uh, uh, I would say, segregationist in Damascus. It was rampant. Would you say that it was just... Now, Damascus is more of a rural northern part of... Maryland, would you say that it was just in the northern rural parts, or was that all of Maryland well, in the up, 30s and 40s? I'm sorry. Up from Montgomery County in Damascus, it was all farmland, rural area then. Mm -hmm. Most of the people who lived here was farmers, and some of the blacks worked on the farm. So they was uh, letting you know that what you did was to work and have to be part of them. But you'd have to live in the same community with the white folks. Yes, you have to live, but it was separate. You couldn't go to the church. You couldn't go to the same school. You couldn't do anything unless you, you go to your own separate uh, churches and schools. Did At this point, and when you were growing up in, say, the 20s or 30s, did you experience any racism directly towards yourself? Oh, yes. Uh, you couldn't go in the store and sit at the fountains. You just couldn't go into the restaurant. You just couldn't go any place because it was segregated. And they let you know it was segregated because they was farmers and they didn't, I guess, ignorant to the fact. And that's what it was all about during time in the 1920s and 30s.